This is on the side of the road from Cusco heading towards the Sacred Valley of Peru, specifically the southern access point. Because there's a southern access and a northern access. We find features like this dotted along this ancient road. But the question is, what the hell is this? The stone is andesite, which is the bedrock of the Cusco Sacred uh, Valley area. But what was this made for? The amount of effort required to remove the stone is significant, but the function and the age, the amount of weathering on the stone, really re uh, requires a geologist like Dr. Robert Schock to come and have a look, tell us what it is that we're looking at. Well, one feature that keeps repeating is the number three with these so-called steps. So would you say that's evidence of machining? Well, it was evidence they had some kind of tool. It looks, it looks just like a saw cut. Yeah. It looks like a... I mean, I've seen lots of saw cuts on uh, in construction sites. Uh-huh. And that looks like it. Like somebody had a... Some kind of power tool. Yeah, almost like an angle grinder kind of thing. Yeah, you're not going to get this... Doing this by hand. Uh -huh. Because uh, when you did it by hand, you would see variations. Because anybody's doing anything by hand, even if they had a machine to crank you by hand. Uh-huh. I would think you would see variations in the height. Right. You'd see variations in the texture along here. Uh-huh. And you don't see any uh, any variation along here. I mean it's aged obviously but uh, so now we're going up and inside there's a cave here. So the city of Cusco in the background. Going up. And into this. surreal. So this is the cave itself. See how the area obviously has been carved by somebody. This is hard stuff too. Yeah, it's andesite. It's I think average is seven, six to seven on the most scale out of ten. And actually what we're going to see to some degree here, but more in places like Saxe Roman is you'll see with uh, the smooth surface and then there's a break. So whoever did the sculpting of the surfaces did it before there was a major calamity that like ripped monstrous boulders and things in, in half. Yeah. So this is the, you know, whatever you want to call this, Atlantean or something. This shows where the cutting tool was. Push that thing. Push the red thing. Went deeper than it had to into the surface the of that's the it. material, it? not in a straight line. It's almost the way the, the like a, on. It's on. Okay. the way like a so ankle grinder works. It's not. Are you sure? Like that? No, push that. Push the button. That's it. Now. So it's the square. Okay. Is it? Is, yeah. the, ti is the timing out now? Yeah. Oh, okay. I wanted to point out this. 
smooth cut here. I think it's been touched so many times people have polished it. In the other cut, you can see up here, you can actually see the, it had to have been a rain.